This is Tales of Swordfall. Episode 2, Polished Wood. So, Mikkel and Chantel, um, I didn't realize those names rhymed until now, uh, start <laughs> herding you through the house, um, back to, um, some of the more servant quarter type things where they actually do, like, work. And um, you go through a dining room. There's a large table that can fit about 20 people with just ornate chairs that are finely carved. These are also all shiny. The top of this, like, dark wood table has, like, inlays in it that look like they're mother of pearl. And it has a giant, like, just fancy ornate centerpiece even though there's no one sitting at the table and um chantel starts looking for someone to help tin her out and as you go mikhail's telling a story well see darlings <laughs> uh, why our emilio does not like me is because we were out in the uh, yacht club one time and we were comparing boats and then one the thing led to the nether, and we started comparing dinghies, and I just shouted out, Oh my, your dinghy is so small. How could you possibly do anything with that dinghy? And <laughs> everyone laughed. It was a big, giant cheer, but Armelio, uh, he apparently did not like me comparing his dinghy to my dinghy. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I guess if we're going with ball jokes, <laughs> might as well. <laughs> might as well. Well, was your dinghy at least more uh, prominent than his? What's a good descriptor for a dinghy? Oh, yes. Prominent, wider, longer. Impressive. Impressive, yes. I mean, it can cut through water like no one's business. It's all about that motion in the ocean, right? Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can definitely see why he would be annoyed by that. Yes, well, his parents don't treat him half as well as my parents do. Wait a minute. I meant my parents take care of me better than... He thinks for a moment... I'm just better off than him. <laughs> now, have you met his, uh, his, his, oh gosh, what's the word? A fianced? Fiance? His fiance. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Uh, have you met his fiance? Oh, yes. Well, she's an elf, of course. So, you know, just beautiful all around. I think he's actually trying to make up for the fact that he's a little bit ugly. <laughs> I I would not know how to tell. How do you tell if a person is ugly? Well, you've seen Chantel, right? She isn't the um, most beautiful person in the uh, higher ups. Chantel's like drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I would say Tenor Tenor like takes a look at her and looks back at her and says, "I I I still don't see it." No. I think um yeah like Kala's gonna turn towards um turn towards Chantel and like kind of look at Tenor and like I think they'll both kind of like shrug you know because they both <laughs> like, can't tell. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> uh, and if even you say so. <laughs> Even normal people would be like, what the hell are you talking about, sir? <laughs> and he goes on about how, like, the bridge of her nose is, like, a little too wide, and her fingers are a little bit too long, and 
Like, it's all these little tiny nitpicks that he has. And just the list kind of goes on, and it almost sounds like he's dissecting her, and will probably, like, in about two minutes, describe how her bladder is, like, not asymmetrical enough. But he doesn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> because Chantel uh, actually shows back up. Oh. Kala's gonna whisper to him and be like, are you in love with Chantel? No. Oh. I'm in love with everyone. That's kind of weird. Hey, okay. She's going to take a, a couple st steps back. Yeah, ten or two. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay. Okay. <laughs> and, um... Yeah. She's going to pull her cloak a little bit tighter <laughs> around herself. <laughs> so, uh, Chantel comes back. And she looks at you, she smiles, uh, she looks at Tinner, she smiles even wider. Good news. We have maybe just enough wax and staying to make you look more beautiful than the day you were created. Fantastic! I know. I have no idea what they're going to do, but apparently it involves sand. Um, okay, that makes me a little nervous, but I will trust you. And uh, this very large man comes out, and he has, like, a bucket, a paintbrush, a, uh, like, piece of sandpaper, and he kind of looks down at you, Tinner. Huh. Hello, sir. Huh. We're gonna have a good day, aren't we? Uh-huh. Come with me. You got it. Chantel and Mikkel and Tala are just kind of standing there in this large dining room now. So, Kala, you don't know about sandwiches. Well, I know about sandwiches, but I think we mean different things when we say sandwiches. I will show you what I mean by sandwich. Okay, do I have to fight it? <laughs> no. And Mikkel's just, like, laughing so hysterically <laughs> and high-pitched. And uh, he almost doubles over. But he, like, doesn't spill his drink whatsoever. It's almost like magic. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's... Hmm. So you have... have You have had bread, right? Yes. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. I've had bread. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you can cut the bread into pieces. Yeah. Well, I usually don't cut the bread. I just break it off with my hands. Chantel. And then she kind of like shows her sharp claws, like Chantel looks them together. So horrified at this prospect <laughs> of just ripping bread apart. No, you don't. You don't do that. You'll have to learn because we'll we're going to be in polite company. And she snaps her fingers, which like echoes through the halls, and suddenly there's a uh, staff standing by on the other side of the table. This, this, kind of the same effect that the dress shop had. It just, like, there was no one there, and then there are people. And she announces to them, we're gonna make sandwiches. The staff looks really confused for a moment. Make sandwiches! And she just kind of, <laughs> like, flings her arms, like, she's just trying to gather up a lot of things. And they start, like, running off. And uh, she sits down just, like, sporadically at one part of the table. Mikkel finds his way to the other side. And uh, she pats down on the seat for Kala. Um, like, like she's motioning for her to sit down? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Kala will, like, very... She's going to be a little suspicious, you know? Because, like, it's like... 
she's like hearing about something that she thinks is evil but now there's bread involved so she's kind of like where are we going with this so she'll sit down like kind of gingerly and we're gonna like go back with uh tinner and see what he's up to because waiting for sandwiches is going to be kind of boring <laughs> <laughs> so uh tinner this large man leads you and you both of you go out of the house and uh he leads you through this like immaculate garden that is like full of roses and just everything's in full bloom it smells beautiful there's like the fancy um tunnel of flowers that he leads you through with like wisteria like hanging down it looks idyllic and beautiful and you've probably only seen paintings of things like this tenor is enchanted by all of this anyways uh he takes a sharp left down the very pristine path with all the cobblestones set up just right so that it has the perfect amount of grass growing between each and every one and he motions for you to take the same way i go and before you is a shack a little nervous but i i turned to him i say are, are we going in there yeah oh okay do you you want me to go in first i can go in first yeah. uh tenor just walks up and <laughs> opens the door and just walks inside and, <laughs> okay <laughs> and inside uh there's like um saw horses and just all sorts of like wood working tools just hanging um there's like paint brushes and sanders and just all manner of like things to maintain wood uh getting more nervous now he kind of looks around <laughs> and says um i can trust you right <laughs> yes okay let's do this thing and the man who is much taller and much stronger than you picks you up and like with one arm he's like a uh, fireman holding you and with the other he's like setting up the sawhorses and then sets you down okay that was interesting uh, most people usually ask before they just grab a person but I guess I'll trust that you know what you're doing. No, yeah, never had a piece of wood that talks back, though. <laughs> and uh, with that, he just starts stripping clothes off of you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Tenor really doesn't, has no modesty when it comes to, like, being naked. So he's just like, oh, okay, if that's what you need to do. <laughs> And uh, he starts just kind of looking over your naked body and just, it, it looks very, like, medical what he's doing. <laughs> he's just kind of eyeing and, like, just flipping you every once in a while, seeing where to start. <laughs> you don't feel pain, do you? Um, no, not that I've ever experienced, at least. Okay. And uh, the first thing he starts doing is sanding down Tinder's body. <laughs> this is starting to get weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know how granular I really want to get with this whole process. <laughs> no, no, this is this is when we go back to... Uh... Thank you. <laughs> uh, so... Call it, uh, you hear a little ring of the bell, and uh, Mikkel looks very excited, and he starts clapping his hand. Chantel, uh, like, sits up properly, and uh, these servants take, uh, like, have 
silver trays with silver lids on them. And very slowly, they put a tray in front of Kala. They lift the um, cover. And there, in front of you, are two pieces of bread with lettuce, some meat, and it's neatly cut diagonally. And there's like a little sprig of some plant on the side. This is a sandwich. Oh, you mean a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> she looks super confused. Uh, no, there's, I don't think this is ham. And she looks inside. I was not her... ready for that. <laughs> she looks in inside her sandwich looking very confused. No, 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 it's not ham, but, you know, this is a hamburger. Okay, I know it's confusing. So I grew up my entire life as a vegetarian. I knew there was more out there. Um, and when I joined the barbarians in the forest, they introduced me to hamburgers, where you put, like, meat in between two pieces of bread. Why didn't you just say so? I, I didn't know it was called a hamburger. And she, like, picks it up and eats it. Mikkel looks super amused about this, and he's just munching on his sandwich whenever he can, looking, you know, uh, Kala straight in the eyes with some lusty glare, and, uh, Chantel just- Kala's gonna push- pull her, like, <laughs> her cloak tighter around her as she <laughs> eats, eating, and, like, scoot a little bit away. <laughs> and uh, Chantel just looks super embarrassed. <laughs> And she kind of, like, this is probably the first time you've heard her not peep a word. And she's just eating. <laughs> um, can I make, like, some kind of, like, I don't know, like, insight check or perception check to figure out, like, what's Mikkel's deal? Like, why is he so into everybody? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, what do you want? Like, a perception or insight? What do you uh, insight. Or even a medicine check, too, if you want. I mean... <laughs> Oh, oh, okay, well, all right, medicine check is 16. Okay. Uh, you think it might be the stuff he's drinking? Oh. Can I, like, very secretly, like, take a whiff of what he's drinking? Just, like, smell it? Um, yeah, yeah, and, uh, like, how well do you, um, smell things like, uh, alcohol and other such things? Um... No, I'm a dragonborn. I'm a reptile. Do reptiles have good senses of smell? <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> yes. um, reptiles smell things with their tongues yeah. for the most part. For the oh, most part. I'm totally going to like stick my tongue into his drink. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, very stealthily. Very stealthily. Okay. I'll roll a stealth check. Yeah, first give me that Five. stealth check. <laughs> Five. No, no, it's not stealthy at all. He just grab your whole tongue into his cup. <laughs> yep, <laughs> totally. And now give me that con check. Oh no. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. Uh all right. You're a barbarian, you should have high con. Uh 13. <laughs> so you can taste the like really pungent alcohol. And there's something else, like for a brief brief moment, everything just looks beautiful. And then it just kind of fades. Call is gonna not drink that again. <laughs> and Mikkel just looks at you and smiles. Are you sure you don't want more? <laughs> uh, maybe some other time. What? What is that exactly? Oh, it's my own special cocktail. Pure Rufinol. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I couldn't help it. <laughs> no, it's cool. Yeah, uh, there's probably awkward silence, be silence between everyone at this point. And Kala's gonna eat her hamburger. <laughs> yep. And Chantel's gonna eat her sandwich. <laughs> and, um... You know, drinks are served. Safe drinks. And <laughs> and probably after about ooh, half hour, 
Dinner, you are looking just bronzed and shiny and wonderful. Like, you even have a little bit more definition than you had before. You know, the afterglow. Yeah. yeah. No, uh, Tenor was, <laughs> he was extremely skeptical about this to begin with, um, but was just kind of going along with it to not offend Chantel. And afterwards, kind of looking at himself, he's just like, how have I lived this long and never done this? This is amazing. The big guy's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And he leads you out of the uh, work shack back into, like, the beautiful garden and um, through the back and back into the dining room. And um, the big guy, like, steps out of the way like a re giant reveal and <laughs> Chantel just squeals and claps her hands. Uh, and... Tenor gives lots of big flourishes and kind of tries to find the best angles in the light to show off how shiny he is now. All of the angles are the best angle now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say that he did such a good job that you probably now have a plus one to your charisma. Nice. Until you take, like, horrible damage. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for the next part of this episode. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe.